Chula Vista now has a new place to find a life-saving antidote for those suffering a drug overdose. A vending machine stocked with Narcan is now in use at the McAllister South Bay Regional Recovery Center. That's on 3rd Avenue. The county says it's available to everyone, not just members of the recovery center. Narcan is a nasal spray known to revive people during an opioid overdose. Often that's due to using drugs tainted with fentanyl. Mike Valeri reports on steps being taken to the national level to deal with the rising number of fentanyl deaths. It's a synthetic opioid intended to help patients manage severe pain, but fentanyl is now driving the drug overdose crisis across the country. Fentanyl overdoses calls the equivalent of a new September 11th every two weeks. Provisional data from the CDC revealing more than two-thirds of all overdose deaths are linked to synthetic opioids like fentanyl, leaving almost no community untouched. It hurts every day. It was something I had heard of, but not it, not something I would have ever thought would have killed our, ch our child, ever. While the federal government has declared the opioid crisis a public health emergency, there's a new push to target fentanyl and similar substances that are exacerbating the epidemic, including a proposed bill aimed at labeling Mexican drug cartels foreign terrorist organizations. This problem uh, is a national security threat. Fentanyl is a killer. And the people killing Americans reside out in the open in Mexico. But some who have lost loved ones are taking matters into their own hands. When my son died, I had never heard of fentanyl before. Jaime Puerta lost his son Daniel to fentanyl poisoning in April 2020. He claims Daniel bought a fake pill from a dealer on Snapchat. Through his nonprofit called Void, Victims of Illicit Drugs, Puerta is working to raise awareness and change the conversation. We have to look at it as a poison and a, not a war on drugs, but a war on fentanyl. In Los Angeles, Mike Valerio, KPBS News.